Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and don't let this be your last time by clicking the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, welcome back. Today I want to show you how I style my hair in Passion Twist. I haven't braided my hair for a long time. If you know me, you know that I'm currently doing the wash and goes. But now I've just worn my hair in twists. Look, sorry, I've ruffled it all up. But I literally have some twists on. But I did that to stretch my hair after I washed it yesterday. I'm going on holiday and I'm going to vlog about it. You guys will see the videos. Um, but I'm excited, you can hear it in my voice. I want to style my hair in passion twist so that I can um, be free. I would have worn a wash and go set, but I just, I'm not sure how it's going to all play out. I'm just not sure, like, I'm still in my infancy of wash and goes. And I think I just kind of want the braid look or the braided look. So I haven't braided my hair for a long time, but I'm going to be using these. So these are passion twists. I'm not too sure about the color. This is what it looks like. So there's a few in the pack. There's about five or six. I think six. I think I've removed one. I kept it somewhere. But I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I am not sure about the color. But what do you guys think? Do you think it suits me? Uh... I'm not sure but I'm going to have to do it. I'm not too sure about the color but yeah we're going to see how it goes. So I'm going to use the rubber band method. Um, yeah it just comes like that in the crochet. So keep watching and I'll show you everything. Okay so I'm just combing my hair through with a white tooth comb just ensuring that it's free of tangles so that when I'm braiding it's easier. And then I just pat my first line. I always use my rat tail comb if you've been watching my videos because it helps me get precise lines, especially because I cannot see what I'm doing exactly. So I normally use mirrors to try and straighten the lines just to make sure that they're neat. So I comb that down. And then after combing that down, I put a little bit of the product. I'm using Let's Jam. So on this day, I use several products. I use Let's Jam and I use the other products, which you will see in the course of this video. So I put a product on the line and then I go ahead to cut the part again. Look, I'm not using a mirror, but it kind of helps me to guide myself and clean out that line. So once I'm satisfied with the line, I begin to part. So I said I was going to start with the rubber bands, which I did. Um, I picked out the black rubber bands from my daughter's rubber band box. And basically, I used the black rubber bands on, on the um, parting. Uh, however, I wasn't too impressed with the way the rubber band method was. So I went ahead to braid the way I usually braid. So at this point, you can see me just putting the rubber bands on the base of my hair by the nape. And I just put the rubber bands on the four sections that I split my hair into. And then afterwards, I would crochet the hair inwards. So keep watching. So yeah, that's just my kids trying to tell me good night because I was recording this video quite late at night. So yeah, I went ahead, put the rubber bands on the rest of the hair and then I went ahead to start the first crochet. So what I did was I opened this up. As you can see, this is how it comes. I just opened that up and I took one strand from it to crochet my hair. So when I put the one strand, I tried to twist with it but you would see very shortly that it didn't work so with the size with this particular size and I'll put the the company where I bought it from so that you know this particular size one is too small it's too thin like it's just quite awkward so literally this is me putting the crochet in and um, I'm going to start twisting soon which you will see shortly so I use the edge booster 
I use this to rub on my own hair strands because my hair is really kinky. I haven't blow dried or straightened it. It's not going to blend properly with the extension. You can see the extension is quite slippery and quite um, um, shiny. So I needed to make my hair very, um, I don't know the word now, make my hair stick together basically so that it, it's not noticeable in the extensions. So this is me trying to twist my unsuccessful twist and i was also twisting the wrong way i was twisting to the left i think for this hair you need to twist to the right when you twist to the right then it follows the correct pattern i am a left-handed person so i always twist to the left by default so as you can see i'm taking that down because it did not work out it always happens like this i like to show you what happens when i start to braid my hair because i like to give you context it doesn't always work the first time sometimes you could edit edit this this out but then it doesn't really show you the full picture this is why i like to add this in so i crochet the second piece into the hair to make it bigger and i'm going to twist so now i just combine the two sides and then i twist and this time i'm twisting to the right if you watch my hands you would see that my hands are twisting the opposite direction as to what i was doing before so this is the right twist so i'm literally twisting to the right which is unnatural for me because i'm left-handed so yeah you can just see me doing it to the right which wasn't so easy but i carried on because i just had to so with this method or with this direction i'm not as fast but it still works so yeah that's basically what i do i just carry on twisting and i twist all the way my hair still came out slightly and i wasn't too impressed but i mean i just let it be i didn't really want to bother myself too much about that So I just carry on twisting to the right all the way to the bottom and it seals quite well which is good you don't need to use hot water or anything like that so yeah that's pretty much it so that was what I did and then I carried on doing that all the way um I wasn't too impressed with the rubber bands I didn't really like how they how it felt or how it looked I felt like I wasn't in control I preferred the three strand plait to start my um, braid which I'm going to show you subsequently so this is it so that's everything done at the back you can see what they look like they look all right um, they look nice so I'm going to carry on now with the three strand plait method and this is what I do I join two together one side is for one part of the hair and then the other two sides is for the three so instead of four it's into three do you get what i mean and i just carry on i think i preferred this method and it gave me more control when i was braiding so one thing i would say is that just ensure that that you're putting in you're tucking in the natural hair into the extensions if you can see it's not really tucked in properly but just ensure that you put the product on it so that the hair is quite sticky and smooth and then it would blend into the extensions better so obviously because i was doing so many i couldn't be bothered to really rectify these ones i mean nobody's coming to look in detail at the back of my hair if you get what i mean so this is what it looks like it's quite relaxed and soft i'm now at the back i section it's line by line and i use the brick layering method as you can see i put some product into the hair and then i separate the hair into three i'm starting with the three strand plait. you can see what i'm doing i'm just separating the hair i'm doing this so that you can see clearly otherwise um, i just go ahead and braid the hair so i separate the hair into three and then i begin to braid so as you can see one side goes on one one part of the hair Another side goes on the other part and then the double side goes to the third part and then I start doing a three strand plait. It's as simple as that. I literally just fix it on top of it and then I begin to plait. Once I've braided and secured it, then I split them into two two. Then I hold it securely and I begin to braid. Most times you'll see me switch my hands because it makes it easier for me to control the movement of the braids. So I just carry on twisting, remember I'm twisting to the right and I twist all the way to the tips of the hair. So 
So as you can see, the back is nearly done. I have one more left in that section, which I'm going to do. And then I literally just do exactly what I did in the previous one. Detangle the hair with my Afro comb and then braid the hair using the three strand plait method. So this is how I join the extensions together to form three strands and then I begin to plait. So this time I did not separate it the way I did the other time. I just go on and just do it. So when you're in, when you're braiding and you're trying to be quick, you can't, you don't need to spend time separating it because the hair would naturally separate. So if you've been observing my hands, you'd see that I always turn my hands around because I'm braiding the back. It's not very easy for me to keep my hands a certain direction. So I turn my hands around so that I have a better grip when I'm doing the twist and I twist the hair just like so all the way to the tips. So that's that line all completely done. I'm going to move to the next line. So I've done two on this line already. So this is what I do. So when you're parting, if you do it line by line, you wouldn't have issues. People always complain about parting, but to be honest, I literally just go line by line. And because my hair is not fully detangled, I don't try to part the whole hair before braiding. I just do it as I go along as you can see. So I just carry on doing the same thing I've been doing all through. So you see when I put it in my mouth, <laughs> I'm not actually putting it into my mouth, like saliva is not touching it. I'm only using my lips to hold it just so that it allows me braid to the roots. Uh, I keep saying the roots, braid to the tips. Otherwise it won't be visible in the camera because the hair is really long. So yeah, this is me. I've gone really far at this point. I've braided quite a bit and I'm just carrying on doing what I am doing. So I speed up the whole process so that obviously it doesn't, it doesn't, you, you're not watching one twist for too long, but you get the drift and I'll slow it down at some point as well.
Hey guys, so I'm nearly finished. This is where we are so far. This is all I've got left. I stretched it out with some. Uh, I'm going to split this into three. And then that will be it. So I keep watching. So I'm using the rubber band method now. I just want you to see a glimpse of what I do and then I'm going to crochet the hair just because I did it at the back board just in case you didn't really see what I did properly. I'm giving you another angle. So I crochet in one strand and then obviously you know I'm using two strands so I crochet in the second strand and then I twist the hair. That's pretty much it. So just enjoy the rest of the video. I did my edges when I finished, so I used um, another product called um, As I Am, and I did my edges just to make it look sleek. I put some mousse on my hair as well, but I could not film that because the memory on my camera kept getting full. So yeah, I never showed that part, but that's just pretty much it. I put some mousse on it just to kind of make the hair stay better or like freeze less. So to speak and that's it um that's all i did with these braids so it's all finished now looking cute so i did my edges with these Ha, ha, ha.